Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Chig Ratledge Stadium at Dukes Field on the campus of Loudoun High School as the visiting Tornadoes, top-ranked Alcoa, taking on the homestanding and senior night Redskins of Loudoun High School. It's John Morgan along with Lane Gerhardt. Welcome you to Loudoun County. Lane, number one against eight. Hey, whoever, uh, le whoever leaves tonight with a W will be the Richard champion. champion. Absolutely. So, I mean, you know, uh, that's why they play the game. Mm -hmm. And uh, Loudon Redskins got one loss. Help me out here, John. You know all this stuff. That's one, two. One loss uh, to CAK. To CAK. And that was a very, very close game. CAK pulled it out late uh, in beating uh, Loudon 38-21. to uh, Loudon coming off of a pretty convincing win over region leading Boyd Buchanan. Yeah, yeah. Loudon strong. This, I mean, one loss, of course they're strong. Um, outscoring uh, their opponents 310 to 120 over the course yeah. of the season. M mutual opponents, of course, uh, allowed them with a win over Rockwood and a loss to uh, CAK, and, and I'll call with wins over both of them. To refresh your memories a little bit, that win over CAK early in the season, uh, I'll call looked real strong in the first half, and now I good in the second half. Um, so some people would say that the score was closer than the game really was, but. Still let him score three touchdowns on us in the second half. Yep. Uh, and uh, that wasn't all with two minutes to go, or one minute to go like that one touchdown last week. Uh, uh, of course, Loudon High School uh, is coached by Coach Jeff Herrig. And uh, let's see, they got leading rushers uh, this year, DeAndre Miley and Tyler Campbell. Uh, uh, Miley's already topped the 1,000-yard mark for the season. Yep. And... Uh, then you got uh, your receivers, uh, Grant Jasper and Ben Everett, uh, leading the way here for the Redskins at Loudon. Nice looking out crowd across the across the way there. Getting a little stronger every week. People starting to smell the end of the season. Um, getting their playoff course, feet wet. Getting hopefully. that playoff feet wet. And, 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 and I'll say this: I said it, I've said it before when we were at other places, and I have not been let down. If you can't be at home, Loudon is a place to come for a football game, man. Yeah, it's a good time you know, here. Uh, a lot of good food, good people. Uh, everybody, they take, they, they set us up high so you. nice up here, and they're <laughs> real nice to you. And we got a great, a great place to watch a game and broadcast a game from. So I give my kudos to the people here at Loudon um, for treating us so nice and uh, running, running a good show. And hopefully, we'll see you know a tough football game tonight, I, but I don't know, John. Alcoa has just been getting better every week. Yeah, better every yeah, week man, and, I'm telling you. and deeper every week. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we hit the point last last week that uh, there are no starting positions that are nailed down on this team anymore. You know, Tony's coming in and running to Heron. Tyson's coming in and just eating yards up and scoring touchdowns. Uh, Daryl Warren. Looked pretty, pretty good last week handling yep. the ball. Uh, and you've gotten in on the line. Uh, you've had an emergence of uh, of Josh King Cannon coming Josh on King pretty Cannon strong here lately. Great offensive line and Seth Coulter just playing so awesome defensive line. Yep, Seth Coulter is getting after the quarterback. Yep. And but, uh, this is going to be a team tonight that's going to come out and they're going to try to control the offense and run the ball quite a bit. Uh, like I said, uh, with the, we have one running back uh, over a thousand yards already on the season. So. We're going to see uh, what, what's going to transpire here as it looks like Loudon has won the toss and they are going to take the football. They'll be going left to right on your screen from up here and um, Alcord needs to come out put a quick stop on them. Yep. Establish themselves early. And this is a really loud sound system they have here. They party here at Loudon. Yeah. It's an event. And again, it's senior night. That's been like our theme lately, man. We just wherever we go, it's senior night. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's late in the year. That's how it goes. Even you come to my house at senior night because I'm there, you know. But I've been here, been here many times uh, over the years. But I tell you what, some of the biggest awards that I've seen on this field have been between Loudon and Maryville back when they were both competing for state championships in Class 2A. And, of course, uh, Loudon won a pair of them back then. Yep, Loudon, 74 uh, and 75. Loudon, so. three, three state championships under their belt. I understand that uh, the guy at the stadium is named for Chick Radledge, um, the coach of all three of those teams. And, uh, and uh, an outstanding coach he was. And, as I am told, an outstanding person he still is. But uh, uh, they, they and Maryville used to have some brawls up here back then. 
<laughs> Are you showing your age, John? Yep. You know, you're a young guy like me. So the homestanding Redskins are on the field <clears throat> waiting for the arrival of the F5. Although now it's an EF5. They reclassified the tornadoes. What are they thinking? Yeah. I don't know, man. EF5? EF5. They put an E in front of it. It's, I guess, uh, I don't know. Energy? I don't know. It doesn't take as much to get to an EF5 as it does an F5. No? Okay. Well, then this is still an F5 coming on the field now. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you that right now. Alcoa. Alcoa in the... There's a psych There's a psych factor here, man. In the traditional home roadies this year. They got the special ones on tonight like they yep. had at Rockwood. So it'll be Derek Brodus on to tee it up for the Tornadoes. And DeAndre Miley will be wearing number 22 tonight. Just to confuse me, is that why they did that? <laughs> You're no great challengers. You know, I can be confused pretty easily, unfortunately. Uh, were you confused watching that Georgia Tech game last night when their equipment man lost some of their uniforms? No, because I didn't watch it. <laughs> they actually put Georgia Tech uniforms on the Virginia Tech players. It was pretty funny. <laughs> didn't work. And put their name, no. <laughs> no, it didn't work. And they put names on the back of the jerseys with a Sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> it was classic. It looked like something you see in backyard football. Yep. All right, Brodus has the ball on in. Kicking out for the Tornadoes. And it'll be Barr and Everett. Or excuse me, Barr and Tyler Campbell deep. So let's see if he can put it out of the end zone again. Derek Brodus stepping up. Puts a foot into it. It's deep. High and deep. It's going to be right at the, ooh, he stepped right on and up. He did just barely missed it. And down and he goes. Just inside nice the 20 tackle yard line. line. Tyler Patterson. Tyler Robinson. Tyler, Tyler Patterson graduated several years ago. <laughs> Tyler Robinson with a nice tackle there. And I, I, I know I'm a broken record, but you just see how he wrapped those arms? Yep, he got him. I love it. I mean, from the first day you play Pee Wee football, they teach you to wrap your arms. And you, you get out here, and you get a senior who still doesn't do it sometimes. Timeout is called for on the field as it looks, looks like the pickle is broken. And uh, Loudon's coming out ready to run a play. but Well, we got a problem with the clock. It's still rolling, and evidently the pickle's not working, so... <laughs> When we do commence play, it'll be first and 10 from the 19-yard line. Defensively for Alcoa, we got uh, Dossett, Coulter, Hickman, and Tyler Robinson uh, on the defensive line. Who we got linebackers? Linebackers, we got Jerron, Tony. Um, see if I can see their numbers is out there. I know who should be out there. Connor Miles, uh, D. Uh, Herbert. D. Herbert and, and Troy Hodge. Troy Hodge. The defensive backs, we got uh, Chase James. Uh, Sam Thompson. Sam Thompson in the middle and over on the other side uh, should be Randall Cobb. Randall Cobb. Tough backfield. Tough linebackers, tough front four. I mean, you know, haven't seen that front three lately. No. Nope. We haven't seen that little. Well, you won't see that wrinkle again until we see a team that throws the football. Yeah, that's true. Lot, so. That's true. It is definitely a running team. All right. I can't read that. I don't think I have any more. Yeah. <laughs> you so much, you someone thought that funny. They gave me an Alcoa roster tonight that's so small that an old dude like me can't read it, but I'll do the best I can. <laughs> so you folks just have to stick with me. Contribute to the old dude fun when you sing. The old dude fun. The old dude fun when you buy those uh, <laughs> those tapes and DVDs and stuff. Well, this a little delay here. The, the clock finally stopped, but at 9.33. Well, I, I said something to referee tonight, Barry Mathis, by the way, and I said something to him before the game started about keeping the clock rolling. He's holding up his end of the deal. Yeah. 
<laughs> so just we're 35 <laughs> points away. Now it's running again, running down still, so. Well, we're waiting. Yep. But it's a beautiful campus here at Loudon High School, though. It's uh, really spread out, and this, this, you know, it's just a nice place to come. Nice place to come for a basketball game, too. They got a nice basketball facility. Um, Loudon, possibly the largest school student body wise in our district. Um, Having probably, just, top, probably near the top in yeah, 2A period. Yeah, ha have, having just, just recently made the trip down from 3A, and I'm not sure who in our district is actually smaller than Alcoa. It might be Wartburg. I'm not sure, but most of the schools. Wartburg's, Wartburg might, might be as, as close to, if not a little bit bigger than Alcoa. Yeah. Alcoa is close to being the smallest. I mean, Alcoa's only been a legitimate 2A school for like three years now. Before that, they were, quote, playing up, but... Our size is up there now. Okay, we're set at 11.53. It looks like the clock is right, at least from a time point of view, whether they've got, they're going to keep it up here or whatever, I don't know. But um, it looks like we're getting ready to start playing some football. Loudon comes out with a pretty widespread offense for a running team. And I think we might have to wait for the striped shirt to get up here to run the clock. Okay. Looks like he's coming this way. That's right, John. Coming up the stairs. You got a camera shot there. <laughs> got the zebra coming up, getting ready to go up the flight of stairs. We'll see the kind of shape this guy's in. I don't want to put him on the spot, but he's still running. All right. I think he's doing a Gatorade commercial. It's Mr. Clark. All right. All right, we got him lined up. There's a little football. bit of a semi bow here. McNew with two backs behind him. And there goes the inside handoff, and he's going to pick up a little surge there. Dan looks like he picked up about four. Yep. Straight ahead. No trickery on that play. And uh, he, picks up, he picks up five, almost six yards. That'll bring up a second down now and four with the ball resting on the 25-yard line. <clears throat> Campbell and Barr, the quarterback, uh, the setbacks behind the same formation, back, same play. Campbell again nice for quite a bit. He's got a first down up to the 36-yard line. I guess they're going to run that till we stop it, John. What do you think? Sounds good to me. Because, I mean, that was the same formation, same play, same blocking. Even better result. All the way out to the 36. It's a gain of 11. So let's figure out what's going on here, guys, and put an end to this in a hurry. Ben Curtis bringing the play in for the Redskins on first down and 10 from the ball, 36. McNew gives to Campbell again. And he still picks up a nice four yeah, yards right on that four play. Yards. It's like having an instant replay here. It'll bring up second down and six with the ball placed at the 40. Uh, somebody got to make a little adjustment there on the left side there. And make them run something else. Let's see what happens on this play. Well, you might want to see uh, Troy Hodge sneaking up on one of the ends to make it a five-man front. On second down now, four ball resting at the 40 yard line. Quarterback Manu looks like he's waiting on the official signal to start the play. Trying to shorten the game. And there it is again. Oh, he lays it on the ground. And he's lucky to get it back. Or did he? I believe he did. All the way back at the 31, <laughs> Campbell drops the pigskin. And we'll get credit for the loss. That's going to bring up a third and 14, third and 13. Not the down and yardage they wanted, but, uh, you know, they stopped themselves on that play, John. Yep. It was the same play. Fumble loses nine. 
So it'll be third down and 15 yards to go. The yard line to make is the 46. Forced them into a passing situation. Now Cole is four man front. McNew, swing pass. Throw Enjoy. just a little bit behind and it's yeah. going nowhere. He'll lose two. Yeah, I mean, you had a, they had a wide receiver lined up on a linebacker, which they like, but unfortunately for them, the linebacker was Troy Hodge. I mean, you know, so uh, they weren't going to get anything around him, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. So Alcoa holds after giving up uh, a first down uh, with a big assist in the negative, negative yardage on the fumble. We got uh, Randall Cobb and Troy Hodge back deep for the really short punt. Yep, kicking it dead yeah. away from him, and uh, yep. Alcoa is going to be set up at the 44-yard line, first and 10. I thought for sure that ball was going out of bounds at about the 49, but it just took a bounce back in and be uh, first and 10 Alcoa at their own 44-yard line. So Alcoa picks up 24 uh, with 8.38 to go. Picks up 24 in the field position uh, contest there, which Sometimes Alcoa is important. Sometimes somebody just breaks one and doesn't matter where they started from. But um, It'll be Hodge and Herbert flanking Cobb to the left. We haven't seen this before. Tight end set to the right side. Snap to Cobb. It's a dead sweep, and here goes Cobb. Cobb to midfield. Cobb stays in bounds. He'll step out of bounds across midfield at the 46-yard line. He's going to be like a foot short of the first down, I think, if he doesn't have the first down. But uh, that was a new little wrinkle. Two backs to the left of the quarterback, and they came right to that side. Uh, no secrets. Here it comes. I wouldn't so, be surprised to see him do something like that and then run away from it. A gain of nine, second down, one. Bring one, second down, and one. Watch out for Sam Thompson out there in this down and yardage situation. Split out wide to the right. Same situation here. Two backs to right now. The tight end set to the right. Cobb taking off with it, looking for a block. Doesn't get it, spins, and he's into the secondary. Yeah. Watch out. And Watch there out. he goes. One Randall man, Cobb one man down him. to the 19. He's drug down from behind. That was a nice maneuver there after about a five yard. After the five yards, Randall did a little spin and just sort of pulled away from people. Loud and uh, fortunate that someone was able to catch him from behind. One more step, and he was gone. So that's going to bring up a first and 10 on the Loudon 20 game of 27 27 on that play 8 16 to go in the first quarter and alcoa out establishing some offense right away waiting for dondo to get set on the far side cobb's now a conventional set up under center with the eye behind him cobb gives this is troy hodge troy hodge to the 20 15 down to the 10 and out of bounds at the seven yard line troy hodge just a straight handoff. 12 yards. Sweep, sweep to the left for 12. Alcoa gobbling the yardage up here on their first possession. And that'll bring up first and goal. Out of bounds by Ferguson. So three runs have quickly moved the football from the uh, Loudon 44 yard line down to the seven. First and goal for the Tornado, 7.53 to play. In the opening period, we have no score. Dondo split to the left. Robinson in the slot with Sam Thompson all the way over right, and the hands are going to go again to Troy Hodge, and he's just going to stroll into the end zone for the first touchdown of the night. 7.49 to go, and as John likes to say, the tornado sets down for six. Uh, four straight plays. Four plays. Four plays, 56 50, six yards. Six yards. The uh, biggest of the four being the Randall Cobb run, and that was basically a, a, a Cobb. Well, let's see a if Cobb, we got a, a, a Cobb Hodge. Let's see if we can get, uh, get the kicking game scored. There's another high snap, but uh, Cobb yeah. does a good job getting it down, and Brodus boots it through. Well, here we go. Got the extra point going tonight. About the only was missing from last week's performance was that uh, PAT. He made one. Yeah, but that was something was weird. There was something in the. He couldn't. He could Cobb couldn't get a snap to handle. Yeah, we did a good job <laughs> with that one. And that one was and, uh, high, and he got it down. They, uh, Paul Talley said they worked on that quite a bit this week because that hasn't been a a, uh, a point of concern all year long. No, it's been like it's been like clockwork all year long. You're right. This is about as automatic as you've seen anything. So Loudon, after shooting themselves in the foot last possession, is going to get another crack at it. Now they were moving the ball now, you know. But the, the thing we we say this every week: when you play a team like Alcoa, 
You can't make those mistakes. You can't do that kind of stuff. You can't give up nine yards. And I see now, now Alcoa can do that and get away with it. At least they have all year. If they haven't made a lot of mistakes, but if they make a mistake, you know, third and 17 doesn't mean Alcoa's out of the, uh, you know, having a dead series. Anything can happen. So here we go. Rodas is going to boot it again. Well, that last one was about as close to a touchback as you can get without being a touchback. That's the kind of touchback. kick you want. Because yeah, you need anything happen, you can get a good fumble out of it. So you can start, You can nail them on the 12. And there's another nice bit shorter high this time. kick. Down to the five. With the football is McNew. Or excuse me. There's and a fumble on the ground, and Alcoa has it. Nope, they called him down. They called him down. Well, I'll tell you what. That's just what we're talking about, though, John. <laughs> that... Yeah, and I think that was a good call. I could not actually see, but it looked to me like he kissed the dirt there before he gave the ball up. So first and 10 with the ball resting at the uh, 26, 27 yard line. Well, Alcoa showing plenty of offense here early in the game, but we, we do need with 7.43 to go here. We need to see a little better defense than we saw last time. Um, see, uh, they run the same play they ran every time they had the ball last time, which was just basically a, a buck to the right. New back in the game, mm -hmm. Matthew Wallace. And there goes the same handoff, and this time it's going to pick up about two. As it's Tyler Barr on the carry. On the carry. Now, John, I, I'll be honest, I couldn't tell whether the hole to the right was was clogged and it forced him to the left side of the of the center, or he that's the way the play was supposed to go, but there wasn't much there. Two yards. As the ball is as, at the as opposed to six and seven on the, the other times they ran that play. Alcoa's defense pretty much stays the same, although uh, Troy Hodge is over on the left side now, and Jaron Tony is over on the right side. Barr gets credit for three on first down. Loudon trying to shorten the game here. You see the quarterback waiting. He's watching yeah. the back judge, and the back judge starts counting. They'll snap yeah. it. So the handoff, no, it's a fake, and McNew rolling, rolling. Over the in. pocket Boom. collapses, and down goes McNew. Hickman, Hickman, the first man there. Josh Kincannon also got back in <laughs> and there. Josh Kincannon. Those fast linemen from Alcoa, I tell you, doesn't have to be a linebacker to run that quarterback down. He's lucky to get back around and only use, lose a yard on that play. Yep, brings up third down now and eight with the ball at the 29-yard line. And where's Campbell on this series? That's my question. We got three. Here we go. The third back came over to cover. It looked like we had a three on two out here, but now we yeah, got we're sitting in zone. Yep. On third down and eight. And then who comes, comes screen. Rush. screen pass is going to get busted up by Troy. By Hodge just well, he ate that one up like he did the one to the other side. Yep. Greg Vaught on the reception, but it'll lose yardage. It's complete. The pass thrown behind the line of scrimmage, so officially it'll go down as a run and a loss of three. Fourth and 11, Alcoa says uh, Randall Cobb and Troy Hodge back. And this is, getting ready to, this is getting ready to unravel in a hurry. Yep. Low snap. The kick the away. This off. one is going to be returnable. Cobb calls for the fair catch. Bobbles it a little makes bit. Makes it onto it. at the 46. Okay. So, again, Alcoa with a short field to work with. Two yards closer to the end zone than they were last time. And with 531 to play, Alcoa takes over. Coulter, Womack, and Hickman, and and um, Dossett, and uh, sometimes Robinson on that offensive line. King Cannon. And King Cannon, those guys just just been playing some great football. That offensive line has gotten so good over the passage of this season. It's just amazing. First and 10, Cobb, five-step drop, looks to throw and airs it out, looking downfield for Hodge, and it's incomplete. Well covered down the field. It was with him step there by step. Tommy Brown. <laughs> yeah, but a pass like that, even in, if, if it's incomplete, gets him thinking. Makes him wonder they can't just be sitting on the run. Not that sitting on the run has done him a lot of good, but... Um, so Hodge does get to come out after making that long run. Yep. It'll be Jerron Tony coming in at the tailback position on second down now, 10 to go. 5.24 to go with the clock stopped here on the incomplete pass. Alcoa, second and 10, ball still on the 46-yard line of Alcoa. D. Herbert still at the fullback. He's yet to touch the football. 
Toss sweep. This is Tony. Tony gets a block from Herbert and cuts up field across midfield. Picks up at five. That just, looked, looked potentially strike. like it was going to be bigger than that for a minute, John, yep. but that was a nice tackle Good there. Good closing tackle. Yeah. Third and six. Ball right on the midfield stripe. Tony, on the pitch. Tony stays in the ball game. So with the ball at midfield, it's third down now, six to go. D. Herbert now going to set up at the wing on the near side. Two receivers split to the left. Herbert to Sol running back. Randall Cobb on the play pass. Looks and pumps and Santos oh, is wide Thompson open. Wide open. He catches it. Question is, will he make the end zone? Yes. Touchdown Alcoa on the third and six. 50-yard pass completion. From Cobb to Thompson. I tell you what, the, the strong safety bit on the bit on the pump fake and the, left Sam Thompson wide open yeah. down the sideline. And Randall Cobb right on the money with the pass. The only way that play was being stopped was if the pass wasn't there. And it was there, so we got 439 to go in the first quarter. Alcoa touches down again in the end zone. And the point after by Brodus is up and good. Three play drive, right, John? Three plays. Yeah. Three plays. 40, 54. 54 yards. And Alcoa up by two touchdowns. And the tornado touches down again with uh, 439 to play in the opening period. And Alcoa now up 14 to nil. It's a sucker term. I know it is, man. The hockey season started up. Basketball was on TV last night. Yeah. I watched a little basketball. I mean, I don't really care if hockey started or not. I mean, uh. But that's just me. So uh, I'll just go ahead and go on record saying I don't know who the heck we're going to be playing next week. I'm going to make a prediction say Sweetwater's coming to Alcoa. A possibility, in other words, Sweetwater, you're saying, will be the fifth team from uh, Region 2 to get in the playoff, and that will put them the eighth seed. Correct. Uh, good possibility. Alcoa clearly in playoff form right now. There goes the boot. And this one's going to go into the end, end zone. The end zone. There'll be no run back on this. So it'll be first and 10 for the Redskins at the 20-yard line. Brodus with another touchback. Alcoa. Alcoa defense looked pretty good last possession. I mean, not that they didn't look good in the possession before. They did give up a first down. Well, that's uh, when the adjustments come yeah, in. The adjustments come in. Uh, you know, the lob was going to run that little dive to the right till we stopped it, so we did. Uh, and they're still running it. And here comes and Campbell. Campbell was out the last yeah. series. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about yeah. all. Maybe a little something past that, but that's the same handoff from the quarterback in the in the in the gun. And it's not. Well, I picked up a yard. Yep. Second down now nine. Campbell at the, the twenty-one. Tackle made by Cannon. on the Very stop for Alcoa. Brings Cannon. up second down and nine. Now Campbell's in the slot to the far side. Jaleek Tony goes over and picks him up. As the clock rolls with four minutes to play in the opening period, this give off. now. And this is going to pick up two yards. This is Tyler Barr. Barr on the carry. That'll bring up a third and a long five or a short six. Take your pick. We'll call it a short Barr. six. Yeah. So Barr will get credit for three. The ball moved out to uh, just short of the 25-yard uh, line. So third, third down and six with the ball to 24. Loudon needs to get a first down or two uh, if they're going to get anything serious going here at all. And play fake. And boom, whoa. The He's ball hit. gets away. Yeah, but it's going to be a first down. Yep. He paid for that. He took a real good lick there, I think, from um, from Tony, from Tony coming from the right side. But give him credit, he hung in the pocket and he yep. made the completed pass, and that's the first down for Loudon. They moved the sticks. That's going to be a first and ten Alcoa on the 34-yard line, on their own 34-yard line. But that was a good job by McNew staying in the pocket with yep. the pressure bearing down on him. Hanging tough. He didn't want to do that too many times in a row, but. 
because Tony come free uh, on the edge. So first and 10 for the Redskins, they pick up the first down the ball at the 33. McNew in the shotgun, takes a snap, and he'll give it off to Barr, and Barr runs into the line, Gets and he'll, he'll get nothing on that one. Barr, on the key. I tell you what, John, the play before that, that little short pass to the flat was the only pass play that had a chance. If, yeah. he needed, if he needed any time for somebody to get down the field, he was going to get nailed. Jaleek Tony was just coming like a man possessed. Like a man untouched. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still thinking about the pump fake that Randall had on that touchdown pass. Boy, he sold it. He sold it. He sold it, and he had – Ample time to do it, and if his protection breaks down, he scrambles for 30. So, I mean, you know, how do you defend it, man? It's just tough. Four-man front. The give goes to the back uh, again. Didn't catch the number that time as he runs back into the heap, and it'll be a gain of about one. That's bar again. What, whatever was working there, um, the first possession that Loudon had isn't working anymore. Those inside handoffs are getting a yard or two now instead of six or seven. Um, that brings up a third and long, third and nine. Play comes into the quarterback. McNew, Blake McNew. On third and nine, McNew looks to pass the ball away, and it is caught. That's but a nice catch. It's yeah, going to be short yeah, of the first down. A yard short of the first down is coming up with the football. Is Klein, or excuse me, Everett. That was a nice catch. He had to leave his feet to get to the ball. And it looks to me like on a fourth and one, Loudon saying, hey, man, we got to do something. Can't just keep punting the ball away. They're going to go for it. Or they, try, they do go for it, and it looks to me like a surge got it. I believe they do have a first down. That'll be back-to-back -back first downs for Loudon. Got a little bit of offense going here. Um, same pattern on both first downs. Uh, nothing and nothing on the on the uh, running play, and then about eight or nine on the pass. So Redskin picks up the first down. The clock rolls with 35 seconds to play. As they've moved it out to the 44, they picked up a pair of first downs in a row. And this will probably be the last play of the first period. Unless it's an incomplete, the incomplete pass. pass. Yeah. So we're running out of bounds. There goes the the inside hand off to Barr. And he gets a yard. Bar. Uh, okay. Once again, John, your prediction holds true. And they'll not do it. Not a lot to do to change, to change sides here. No, nope, just flip a change. The chains don't even have to move much. Not much, man. They're right there. Don't forget tonight's game is being broadcast live on 96.1 WLMP. You can hear a rebroadcast at 11 p.m. tonight and again Sunday night at 8 p.m. on 96.1 WLMP. Uh, on the world wide Into the first quarter, 14 nothing Alcoa. About what we expected. Uh, Thank you. Next week, uh, I'm going to go ahead and guess that Alcoa is going to be at home for the first round of the playoffs. Uh, time change. Games start at 7 p.m. in the playoffs. Why? It just does. Teams travel further. Yep, teams travel further, and then uh, for uh, some of them, it's just more of a convenience to start at 7, uh, and for radio and television as well. So uh, 7 p.m. is the start time uh, next week at Goddard Field. Also, keep in mind that <clears throat> no passes. No passes, because it's, you know, it's not our game anymore. It's um, TSSAA's game. And it will be second and nine. Ball still on Loudon's side of the field. Loudon yet to visit Alcoa territory. Loudon not going from right to left on your screen. Second down and uh, yeah, from the 46. It's, it's a, a draw play. Big draw. New and there is Mr. Everybody. 
King Cannon, I do believe. Is that King Cannon at the bottom of the stack? Made the initial Seth hit. Coulter. Seth Coulter, 55, not 65. Yep. Coulter makes the initial hit. And McNew struggles for a yard or two. That play looked open for a minute, but once again, the speed of those Alcoa defensive linemen, they just close that hole up in a, in a millisecond. So once again, here we go, third and seven. See if Loudon has another first down pass in their quiver. About the 47-yard line, McNew. Look for some pressure Takes here. Takes a snap, and here, here comes a blitz off the corner, and it's incomplete. Boy, he saw number 21 coming yeah. around that corner in a hurry. It looked to me like a little bit of a delay blitz, but, man, it was coming. So that's going to bring up a fourth and seven. And uh, Loudon won't take a chance on this fourth down. Ball still in their territory, although not by much. They send their punting team in. Keenan Hawkins, the punter. That name sounds familiar. Yeah, the last name does. <laughs> so Hawkins on the punt of the way. He'll be standing in his own 35. Good snap. Puts the ball up in the air. Little hanging spiral away from everybody. Yeah, It'll take a loud and bounce and go out of bounds at the 27-yard line. Alcoa takes over with 11-10 to go in the first half. And uh, two possessions, two touchdowns so far, John. Yep. Uh, loud looking a little better with the ball time. Two first downs they put managed to put together back-to-back, -back, and then they, they um, came up short on their third series of that possession. Some of the freshmen already into the game. Taheron Tyson's in at fullback. No day off there. Tyson uh, will sit up at the wing on the left side. Cobb the lone back. So they're going five wide here on first down. Could be a jet sweep to Sam. Cobb keeps. Cobb up the middle. He's, He's to, the 30, to the 35. He's to the 35. To the 40. Watch out. Watch and there out. he goes. Randall Cobb down yep. the sidelines. And One man to beat. And he shall. Yep. Oop. Look at that. One play. Randall Cobb to the inside. Randall deciding not to dive into the end zone tonight. And one play, boom, there it went. And that's uh, 73 yards. 73-yard run straight up the middle. Uh, fake sweep to Sam Thompson. This kind of kind of froze the defense for a second there, John. And Randall just made the rest of it happen himself. Man, he's shifty. Well, that was another thing that nobody's seen on tape this year. Uh, that's the first time that, that Alco has gone five wide. So, and then they fake the jet sweep to Sam and Cobb set sail, making a couple of good moves. Uh, Brought us on for the point after it's up and good. 10.56 okay. to play in the second period. The score, Alcoa 21, loud and zero. Seventy-three quick yards. The number of plays per drive has diminished with each possession. It was uh, six three one. Am I right? Let's uh, check what our crack statistician has. Yes. <laughs> four three one. Four three one. Uh, that only follows the reason if one. Follows so, the logic that, that the next play has to be scored on a turnover. <laughs> Makes so sense to me. Alcoa snaps the ball eight times. They've got 21 points, and uh, with 10.56 to play, Loudon going back out on the field. It'll be uh, Campbell and Barr deep. Waiting on the kick of Derek Broadus. Brothers puts a foot into it, and it'll be coming down to Campbell at the 10. Campbell to the 15, and here comes uh, Cameron Foster in on the stop along with Warren. It's going to be first and 10 for Loudon at the 23. Cameron Foster staying in his lane, getting to the, to the ball carrier, breaking down. Picture perfect tackle. Ball on their own 23 yard line. We've got some substitutions lane. Womack in there along with Kerr on the right side of the defensive line. Uh, Nathaniel Robinson already in at the linebacker. Defensive backfield uh, staying the same. Actually, Jerron Tony's out there. On first down, the uh, give goes to Campbell, and Campbell's up to the 25. That's a gain of two. 
and that's all. They're on the stop is Kerr. Kerr and a linebacker coming up there after Kerr had the initial hit, and that's going to be a pickup of two. Break that second down and eight. As the ball's out to the 25 yard line. Bar in and Campbell out. Campbell might be a little dinged up, Lane. He's uh Could be. I mean, I don't know if he started out the way that, that way tonight, but he's carried the ball a lot in the early going. Low no snap. snap, the give goes to Barr. Barr looking to get around the end. He's got it. He's into the secondary. And here comes Tony to drag him down yeah. from behind at the 32-yard line. Big play, first down, pick up of about 35, 40 yards on that play. And um, gives a little cause for celebration over here on this side of the field, the Loudon fans. Nice big crowd here of Loudon fans tonight. I hate sometimes some games we go to, John, and we got more people than they do. But uh, not so tonight, but Alcoa well represented tonight. So it's a gain of 43 for Barr. He flips the field. It'll be first Found a little crease on that right side over there and made the most of it. Ball on the 32-yard line. So after the 43 yard pickup, this is Campbell with the football looking to get around the end and you can't outrun Alcoa sideline nope, to sideline. You cannot do it. Now Troy Hodge over there smacking his hands like, oh my goodness, I, I missed a tackle there, but Troy Hodge did his job there. He fought the blocker off all the way down the line. Well, now he's starting to get a little chippy down. And forced that play and the pursuit of his teammates made the tackle. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, he, he ran over and bounds, but you got no gain on the play. Yeah. No need to thump your chest there. It's second down, 10. Brings up second down and 10. Everett out on second down. Lowndes splits two, two receivers out to the bottom of your screen. There goes the inside handoff, and it is going to get – that's going to be good for about six. Yep, as the give goes to Barr. It's going to bring up a third and four. Which is better than third and long. So it'll be a yeah, gain of six. Third down now four with the ball resting at the 27-yard uh, line. 9.06 and rolling. Lotton with by far their best possession their best series of the night as they've moved into Alcoa territory all the way down to the Alcoa 28-yard line. And again, Campbell comes out on third down. Big play here, third and the inside handoff goes to number seven. He Bar, is not going to yeah, get the first down. To the 25, that's going to be two yards short, almost three. Bar. Certainly four down okay. territory for Loudon down 21 nothing with 8.35 to go in the first Bar half. That's going to be fourth and a good three. Yeah, but uh, ball to 26 as is, the nose is outside of the 25-yard line. So we got a decision to make here. I mean, the decision, they got to go for it. They got to dial up the right number here and try to get back in this game. Yeah, they need a first down here uh, big time. This yard line this to make is the 22. This is a lot of times you see the situation where they try to go for a lot, put the ball in the air, and we'll see what happens. I'll look for an Alcoa pick here, to be honest with you. They're Man. trying to draw him off sides. Trying to hard count an yeah. Alcoa timeout. So the clock stops 7.57 to play in the first half. Uh, Loudon driving. Uh, this drive starting at their own 23. Uh, Tyler Barr run, reels off a 43-yard run to take the ball into Alcoa territory. Uh, and now they're facing a fourth down now in three. And they got all the weapons into the game. Yeah, they tried to draw him off sides with that play, and uh, Sam Thompson was up in the middle stomping his feet, but you know he wasn't, he wasn't falling for it. But uh, this is going to be a game, John. This is a big play right here. Yeah. I mean, they don't make this Alcoa takes over. They no guarantee they'll score, but, of course, this is the time for a pick and a run back to make my – <laughs> prophecy come true, but we'll just have to see what happens. So you're you're you're, you're willing to, to to say sooth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> It'd probably be the first thing I got right. Somebody here Sue saying, I, I, "I keep thinking of Shecky Green in the History of the World Part One." Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Big play coming up. Gotta love Mel Brooks. Oh, uh, yeah. I okay. do. I do. Fourth down and three. A little bit of a spread formation. The lone back with McNew is Barr. McNew He's back to throw. Throws the ball. And ball down, and that'll be in. I believe it's Big Deontra. Tyler Robinson. Tyler Robinson or, or Deontra, one or the other. Herbert. Both of them were right there, and that just puts an end to that play, puts an end to that drive. How cold will take over the ball? Right about, uh, somehow they made a foot on that play, but um, first and 10 now Cole with the ball on the 25-yard line. Ball on their own 25-yard line. So 7.53 to play. Randall Cobb getting the signal from the bench. Hughes split to one side. Thompson split to the other side. Full house backfield. Randall Cobb, he's going to throw out of that one. that one. Yep. And it's going deep to Sam Thompson who catches the ball. Oh, and he is barely dragged down. That was a good defensive play because yeah. he, was, he was gone for six. Cobb's pass to Thompson. Cobb's on the money tonight, eh, John? Yep, he's throwing the ball well. He's just throwing the money right where he needs to throw the money. Throw some this way. <laughs> throw some this way. He is throwing the ball right where it needs to be. And the good hands have been bringing it in. The 33-yard line. But so much for my zero play drive. What can I say? 42 yards on the pitch and catch. As Cobb brings the Tornadoes under center. And here comes the big freshman Tyson. Tyson to the 20. Tyson to the 18. First to 10, Alcoa. What a load. The 215-pound freshman, Taheron Tyson. Is that all? Tyson. Are you sure? That's a load coming up the middle, man. Tyson stays in the game, along with Troy Hodge. Tyson stays in at the fullback. Cobb. Gives to Hodge. Hodge makes a miss and rumbling down inside. Nice six yard. 12. Nice six yard run. <laughs> um, Troy Hodge uh, could have been tackled in the backfield, but he made a really slick move and it was clearly a miss. Tackler had his head lowered and that was a mistake. Pick up a six. They're gonna bring up a second and four as Alco is moving down. They're now on the 12 on the 12 yard line of Loudon. And here's that offset play again. This time, no tight end. 6.35 to play. Cobb, inside handoff goes to Hodge. Hodge, good play. Right, good tackle there by some young man, I'll tell you that, because Hodge, Hodge that was Hodge Campbell. had a hole to run through. That was a nice tackle. It was Campbell on the stop. Nice play. Hodge picks up about a yard. It's going to bring up a third and three. Actually, number nine, Jordan Purdy. Give Jordan, That's a pretty tackle, Jordan. Give, give Jordan some credit in case he's got an aunt and uncle lives over in Alcoa area. They get on the broadcast next week, which everyone knows on Channel 3. Hodge will get one. It'll be third down and three. Cobb up under center. With the ball to 12. On the Houston. option, the pitch goes to Hodge. Hodge to the 10. Hodge will have the first down close to the five, actually about the six-yard line. Hodge on the pitch. So it'll be first and goal, Alcoa. Two, 5.52 to go. At the ball at the six. So that's a five yard pickup by Hodge, first and goal. Herbert back in at the fullback position, although it looks like, no, nope, that was a seven, not a two. Herbert at the fullback position, Adrian Troy Hodge. Adrian Womack, he, uh, show, showing up at the tight end. Hodge splits out to the left. Herbert, the only other back back there. And Randall's going to keep this one himself and get swarmed under. He's going to lose four or five on that. And they're going to call forward progress. Yeah, forward progress to the nine. So that's going to bring up a second and goal. Alcoa with the ball on the nine. One of the, probably the only negative yardage play of the night for Alcoa. 
So Cobb loses three. Second and goal now just inside the 10. Five minutes to play in the first half. Alcohol leads 21 to 0. And Ty Tyson, the big freshman, back in. Along with Hodge right behind him. Which one of them is going to get the ball? What do you think, John? I'm going with Tyson. I'm going with two. Yeah. Man in motion. The give goes to the second back. No, no it's a play fake. Cobb underneath. Touchdown, Touchdown. Tyler Robinson. But Tyler Robinson got some nice hands for a big tight end, doesn't yep. he? The tight end drags across the middle. The linebacker doesn't pick him up. And uh, Randall with the, with the play fake to start with and then just his uh, lateral motion to the left and his speed that you have to respect and all the time in the world for Tyler Robinson to drag all the way across the end zone and be open for the touchdown. So it's 27 to nothing out cold with 4.46 to go. Each extra point taking on more significance now than the one before it, John. <laughs> good snap, the hold, kick up, and good. 4.46 to play, your new score, Alcoa 28. Redskins of Latin High School, zero. So, uh, hey John, how, how, how similar is this to last week? I mean, just yeah. Rockwood got a couple of a couple of little small drives going, running the football, and, and nothing. And but I, I do believe that what we're that's four possessions, four touchdowns, four for four. The only difference being we're making extra points tonight, which is fine with me. We, well, Alcoa was able to keep La, uh, Rockwood out of the out of Alcoa territory until the fourth period last week. So yeah, but those missed extra points kept that clock running longer than it needed to. And I need to get out of here tonight. Where you've got to be. Got to go put this game on tonight so I can get up early in the morning and leave for Ohio. Oh, okay. So all you folks, when you're watching this, appreciate that fact. <laughs> Miss West and I are heading over to the elementary school after the game. Rockwood is game at on. CAK tonight. Sweetwater is at Oliver Springs. Uh, Milan and Westview getting it on tonight. That's for the Region 7 crown. That would be a barn burner. I think Milan might upset him. Broadus puts a foot into it. And this will be Barr from the 7. Barr to the 15. Barr tippy toes up to the 20, out to the 23-yard line. Was. Where they're making the stop is uh, Daniel Klein. Daniel Klein with a nice stop, man. Just shoestringed him. He wasn't going anywhere. Nathaniel Robinson in at the linebacker position. Jalik Tony over on the other side. From the 24-yard line, Loudon fumbles the football, and it's going to be Hickman wrapping up McNew for about a two-yard loss. It's the speed of those defensive linemen, I tell you what, man. That's tough to combat. There, there may be bigger lines in the state in the 2A level, but there's none to move like that no. with that size. Now, lost back to the 23. And, and also, another thing to point out here as we go along, Alco is starting to get a little bit more of a two-platoon system going into the playoffs. Yeah. yeah. The guys not having to go both ways as much. Uh, the depth really starting to show. Pass over the middle and bang, Ooh. there's a big hit. Yeah, nice hit there. Uh, Sam, Thompson. Uh, Sam Thompson and Nathaniel Robinson in on that hit. It's been there, Everett in the back. The receiver's down. It's been it for Everett. Is it complete? <clears throat> well, this is something that's, that's uh, been, been, been seen a lot more of, particularly last week. And now they haven't thrown the ball that much tonight. But uh, whenever whenever the ball is going up, people are starting to have to pay the price. Yeah, went over the middle. And Randall Cobb is the one doling out a lot of the punishment. Yeah, Randall, uh, Randall's just as good a defensive player as he is an offensive player. Just doesn't, you know. Well, plus, you know, we're going to have to see how he's going to project out at the next level as well as uh, he's already committed to Kentucky. Yeah, I mean, uh, to me, Randall's the, what do, what do they call it at that level, an athlete? Yeah. You know, we'll just see, like, where, where, where will he fit best? Yeah, kind of like Golden Tate was over at uh, yeah. JP2 last year. And McNew's going to throw one out here in the flat. The ball is complete, and there's... That's a pretty good tackle there. I think it's going to bring the ball up just a hair short of the first down. Uh, based on that spot, I believe it is going to be short of the first down by, oh, yeah. 
by two. So that brings up a fourth and two. 341 to go in the first half. Loudon's got a decision to make here because they're, they're only on their own 32-yard line. They're pretty deep to be going on fourth down here, but they're also down 28 to nothing, so they're going to do it. Well, now here comes the, uh, well, I thought the punting unit was coming on, but maybe not. Now I'll be careful. They might, must, well, they're going with the wishbone on fourth down and short. The give. Hey, he's got an opening. Can he run him down? I Ooh, that's close. close. That's going to be close. Yeah. That's, that's going to be real close. Yeah. Nah, not where that, that official has his foot right now. He's yeah. got it by, by almost a yard. So. Barry Mathis says first down him. Risky to play because it took a little while to develop. So the Redskins will be able to wind a little bit more clock with 3.11 to play in the half as they pick up the first down right at the 35-yard line. So McNew gets credit for the three-yard run. On first down, the give goes to Barr. Barr dead up the middle. There's uh, Nathaniel Robinson making the stop, but not before oh, Barr has a gain of five. Oh, Pick so up the backup, five. Uh, backup linebackers need to fill some oh, holes here. Break the second down and five. Looking a little more like the first time they, they touched the ball. Connor Miles checks back into the game at the linebacker spot. That'll be Miles and Herbert and... Tony and Hodge inside. Whoop, he keeps yeah, the ball. Yeah, but this time, and this time, Ooh, 54 stays at there. home. 54 turned that play inside. <laughs> now, Tyler Robinson gets a tackle. But Connor Miles turned the play in. I know, say 54. Connor, Connor been out. Of course, he had that, uh, that knee scoped a few yeah. weeks ago, and he's made a pretty good comeback. Michael May for Robinson and Cooper. Brings up third down and seven. So uh, Mignon loses two on that one. Third down, down seven. Ball at the 38-yard uh, line. He's back to throw. Ball one of these is up wide, wide open, wide a blown here. coverage. Yep. A good tackle by Sam. Sam Thompson definitely with a textbook tackle there, but still somebody, somebody let a man loose there. It shouldn't have happened. Somebody shook up moderately on that play. Let's see who it is. It's uh, Deontay Herbert. He came in and put a pop on the receiver after Sam had wrapped him. <clears throat> and the gain all the way into Alcal Alcor territory down to the 33. And Herbert will leave the game, although he seems to be walking a little better. I think he had the wind knocked out of him. Maybe. Done, but Peggy Bratt will come out and... Put the magic touch on him. Look, he's better already. Look. Yep. I think he's about two two inches taller too. I think he can do it, can't you? <laughs> Tell you what. <laughs> hey, little known fact: Loudon, Tennessee, hometown of Joe Black. All right. Yeah. Just, I'm a little short tonight, man. I didn't have time to look up the history lesson. So. 34 yards That's on the pitch catch to Wallace. <laughs> okay, here we go. First and ten. Loudon threatening with a minute 26 to go in the half. They got to drop back and pass again. Over, wide open over the middle. That, there's oh, Cobb. Good play. What a nice defensive play, man. That's as good as it gets. You just don't do it any better than that. You just don't do it any better than that. Hey, uh, Kentucky will be looking at that one, too. Yeah, that, was, that was a big league breakup right there. Yeah. Not, I mean, put, not putting his hand on the back just, side of him and coming over, that's just a nice it's, play. It's, it's so tempting to go ahead and make a little contact, and that was just as clean as it gets. Well, I tell you what, I don't think McNew made the right choice. He had the other guy coming down the other hash. We didn't have much uh, time to think about it, no, though. No, no, he didn't. Second down 10. Clock stops on the incomplete pass. He's McNew go back and throw it again. again. Ball up and incomplete, and there's Cobb again. Now, when's he going to figure out? It's kind of like, you know, throwing against Daryl Green back when he was with the Redskins, you know. Just don't do it, man. It's not going to work. He's going to do it one more time, and Randall's going to pick one off here. He's going to throw away from him now, and Sam will pick one off. That's my prediction. <laughs> it's third and ten. The ball still resting at the 33. Clock stopped with a buck 15 to play. Against Alcor's four-man front, McNew 
puts a man in motion. Jet sweep, reverse, and this is Hawkins looking to throw the ball up, away, and intercepted. Intercepted by Chase. And that'll yeah. be, will it be a touchback? No, it'll be on the one. Okay, it'll be at the That's one yard right. line, but it'll first and 10 for Alcoa. <sighs> well, I had the wrong guy, man. I called for the interception, but I had the wrong back. That ball stayed up in the air too long, John. Yep. Uh, yep, and uh, kudos to Chase James Chase for staying at home on the reverse. With, with Hawkins. Good speed, knew what he was doing. The runner, the the, the back was uh, the receiver rather was a little behind him, but the ball stayed in the air too long. He had plenty of time to recover. And he was the only one who had a shot at catching that. Hey, so we've seen him on the one before. Well, first uh, when CAK had him with uh, first and first and 99, they ran a flea flicker and took it 98 yards. I'm thinking Tyson up the middle. What do you think? No. Yep, the whistle blows and the flags fly, and we may get backed up five or uh, another half foot. There's a flag on the play. And it's going to be uh, promotion procedure, procedure yep. on Alcoa. So they'll flip the, the football. <laughs> and it'll be second, or excuse me, first and uh, 11. They'll inch it. it Oh, a couple inches toward the goal line there. Jerron Tony now in at the tailback on first down. Randall Cobb, three step drop pass complete to Sam Thompson. Sam breaking a tackle and he's down at the nine. Nine, he'll be two yards short of the first down. But as the cliche goes, a little breathing room. A little breathing room. I've seen Sand take that same play all the way just with that one juke. But that was uh, some good coverage out there. I mean, considering he gave up eight yards on the pass play. But second down and two. Second down, two yards to go with the ball resting on the nine. 30 seconds to play. And counting. Randall Cobb gives dead up the gut. This is Troy Hodge bouncing it to the outside. Chooses not to go out of bounds and will be down. And the ball goes out of bounds, but it will call him down by contact at the 31. 16 seconds to go in a half. As they stop the clock long enough to move the sticks, will Alcoa run another play or not? Well, did the, did the ball go out of bounds or what did he go out of bounds? Well, apparently, nope, they're winding the clock. Yeah, it's, it's ticking now, though. I'll call run one more play. So on first down from 31, Randall Cobb gives to Hodge. Hodge will run it into the line, and that'll do it that'll do for it. the half. So at the end of two complete, your score, Alcoa 28, Mountain 0. Uh, we'll have uh, last possession, John, the only possession Alcoa didn't score on. Had the ball on the one foot line. I think it was by choice, Dan. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, you know, they didn't really try to do anything spectacular. Um, we're going to break here and let you uh, enjoy the Alcoa marching band. And we'll be back for the second half and see if it's more of the same. Yep. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. For your general musical edification, the Alcoa High School Marching Tornadoes bring back the elements. An all-star tribute to earth, wind, and fire. A smooth collection of tunes from way back. Do you remember these? Rock that, September and Fantasy. Brought to you tonight by the head group master, Bryant, the director, Adler. Percussion stylings by Anthony Bernhauser. Choreographics by Corinne Boker. Drum majors, Kyle Knight. 
Those captains of the band, Allison Gilmore, Kristen Manning, Jesse Rowland, and Isaac Stone. Drum captain, Jake Turnbull. And where would a marching band be without the majorettes and the guard? Majorette captain, Elena Taylor. Guard captain, Zabra Conning, and Katie Frannick. So sit back, relax, and groove to the sounds of the Alcoa Marching Tornado.
Tree McGill for their halftime performance of your 2007 Loud High School Marching Band. Tonight the band will be performing their halftime show, Dances Around the World. Selections include River Dance, Russian Sailor's Dance, and Conga. The band is under the direction of Jennifer Bourne and Lisa Michaels. Color Guard Instructor is Ms.
984 7998. That's the problem with the speed dial. You never plug that, amigo. Uh. Plug that, Sergeant. Oh, I will. <laughs> you know I will, man. <laughs> oh, we get the ball first. That's the bad news. Good news is it'll be 35. <laughs> it'll be 35 soon. Hopefully. I mean, you know, if history is any predictor. Yeah. And then they'll come back and score a touchdown immediately. <laughs> and go for two. That's funny. All right, we'll bring it back in five, four, three, two. And we're back at Loudon High School for the second half. Alcor will have the football. And we'll be moving from left to right on your radio dial. Or television yep. set or whatever. So far, John, as, as I can figure out, the only mystery left tonight is how much free food I can eat. Well, well, they, 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 they brought enough up here for you. They, they, they heard you were coming. That's right. And when I say they, we're talking about. We're talking about the good folks here uh, in Loudoun County who we've already alluded to taking real good care of us. But in particular, Loudoun High School would like to thank Food City, the Log Cabin, and Domino's Pizza for the food they provided throughout the press box. And let me tell you, it's a spread. It was all good because I tried a little <laughs> bit of all of it, and it was all good. Really do appreciate the good treatment that we get here. <clears throat> Ready for the kickoff? It'll be uh, somebody that I don't have on my list. And they go with a little pooch to the right side, and Taron Tyson takes a fair catch. All right, let's feel. We could do a free kick from right there. That'd be a 71-yard, 81-yard uh, attempt for Mr. Brodus. Somebody, I think, going to run a couple plays first. I don't know. Man, so. <laughs> Were you aware of that rule? Um, no, it was not. Yeah, fair catch on the kickoff. You can have a free kick from the spot that you make the fair catch. Once again, John, you have enlightened me beyond my wildest imagination. And we break out. Sam Thompson's coming down to the bottom of your screen, split wide out that way, and I believe it is Dondo out to the top of your screen in an I formation. Cobb under center. Handoff goes straight forward to Harry. And there Tyson. goes the freshman. He don't quite have the speed, but he does have the muscle to carry yeah. it into Loudon territory all the way to the 45-yard line, actually the 46. He broke past that line of scrimmage, John, in a in a big hurry. No one hit him, not that it would have made much difference, but he, he rambled for a good 25 yards on that play straight up the middle. That's exactly what it is. That's good arithmetic. Hey, man. That was a lucky guess, really, but... Tyson and Hodge in the eye. Same formation as the last play. This one's going to go. No, play fake. To no one. Cobb rolls underneath is Tyler Robinson for 15, 20, and a first down Alcoa. Breaking the tackle right at the 30-yard line. Picking up an extra five. It's going to be first and 10 Alcoa. Two plays. 50 yards, it looks like. 45. Ball on the Redskins, 26-yard line. So two plays, a 25-yard run by Tyson and a 20-yard uh, pass from Cobb to Robinson. And Alco is set up uh, to score again, first and 10 at the 26. Randall Cobb calls the signals, gives to the second back. This is Hodge. Hodge has the corner. He's to the 25. He's to the 20. He's to the 15. And out of bounds at the 10-yard line. He'll be marked out at the 11. Okay. And, up uh, 14 on that play. Yep. Three plays, three first downs. 60 yards. So Alcoa can get a first down without scoring a touchdown here, Don. I'm betting against that, to be honest with you. But, uh, but methodically making their way down the field, ball inside the 12-yard uh, line at the 11. It's first and 10 from that how, point. I don't know how methodical 20 yards of play is, but they're certainly moving down the field. <laughs> Split backfield. Yep. Cobb, three-step drop, pump fake, looking for Thompson in the corner, and Thompson... Makes the catch, oh, touchdown. Man. You couldn't throw that any better. You couldn't catch it any better. Four plays, 80 yards, 75 yards. I take it back. Touchdown, Alcoa. 34 to nothing, 11-02. 
58 seconds to do that, Mr. Morgan. Wow. <laughs> that That's a wow there. That is. That's just like. The brother's yeah. point after is good. 11 0 to 58 seconds. They march four plays. And that brings on the running clock rule. And as I mentioned earlier tonight, I'm all for that because I got to get moving tonight. <laughs> that was like Blitzkrieg, man. That was just like, I mean, I don't know how you run four plays in 58 seconds. That's just like, you know, that's, uh, you know, the, uh, two, three games ago, we said there were some questions to be answered. They've been answered. There's, there's a new question to be asked, and that's it. Who's going to even slow this team down two, three games into the playoffs? I don't know. I, I, I mean, I don't know much about the teams from, from, from Region 1. Or is it District 1? I never can't quite figure that out. But it is Region now. Region 1. Quote, unquote. Uh, uh, the uh, selections will be up on the TSSAA website at noon tomorrow. So we will know where and who everybody's going, what not. On the first round. Uh, once again, the game times will be at 7 p.m. across the state uh, in the Eastern time zone, 7 p.m. Central as well. So, uh, But, uh, again, no passes will be allowed at the uh, playoff games. So don't be bringing yo Alcoa pass and expect to get in for nothing. Brothers puts a foot into it. It's spinning and settling down to bar at the five. Bar to the 10, to the 15, and down he goes by Cameron Foster once again in there, Cameron along Fo with uh, Tyson. Bar, Cameron Foster Bar making Horn. his presence felt tonight on that special Bar team, boy. Well, last week, John, by this time we were talking about, man, you know, everything looks really awesome with the exception of that kicking game. I don't know what doesn't look awesome tonight. <laughs> I mean, uh, there's been a 20-yard a, a play and a 35-yard play, and other than that, it's just been no, nothing given up. Uh, by the defense and the offense with the exception of the last possession of the first half with the ball on the one foot line has scored a touchdown on every possession. That's how we got to 35 to nothing with 10-19 to go in the second quarter. And the bar, uh, ball goes to Barr. Barr's ahead for a pretty good game, Barr. close to seven yards. Okay. That'll bring up a second and three. Looks more like second and two. Brings up second down and two. Yeah, John, you get to watch these games and you, you, you see a seven-yard run like that and you say to yourself, eight-yard run, you say, what happened there? <laughs> you know, where's that break now? You know, it's just like. But uh, the big thing is that nobody is going to hit the home run against this point. Without a doubt. Bar again, he's got the first down into the secondary. Actually, Campbell this time. No, it was Bar. I was right. Sorry. How could you doubt yourself like that? But it's a first down. First and ten. Out to the 39 yard line. So two uh, two runs by Barnett's 15 yards. And it's first and ten at the 39. Alcoa looking to gain, regain their first half form. Tightening up the splits now inside. on the defensive line and forcing uh, the run outside. There's and Tyler there's, Robinson. There's first half for him. That play looks like it maybe broke even back to the line of scrimmage. That's, that's exactly what it did. That'll bring up a second and ten. Yeah, Campbell's hobbling a little bit. He's not 100% without a doubt. So he'll come out, and Barr will be back in on uh, second and 10. Snap, give goes to Barr. Barr is once again ahead for positive yardage. He'll be across the 40, pick up out to the 43. Pick up of about four. That'll bring up a third and a long five. John, I'm trying to think other than that little uh, procedure penalty down on the one. Is that the only penalty Alcoa's had tonight? Yeah. They're really just running. They're just playing some smooth football, man. Creeping Another, up to stop the run oh, of Sam man. Thompson, and they're all over him. Man. 
That'll be a loss back to the uh, 42, 43 yard line. But you can see Sam Thompson cheating yep. up from his free safety position to, to, to ham up some run support, and that'll force a punt. And we haven't seen a punt return yet tonight, and Alcoa's going back with just a single. Back. Speaking of punt returns, you know who's returning those punts for UT tomorrow, don't you? Yes, I do. It's about time. Yep. Dennis Rogan to, from Fulton, and we certainly know him well at Alcoa. He's running enough yards against us in the past. That ball, that ball is like it's going to be take a bounce. Wow, it. good hop for Loudon. Yep. Still bouncing that way. And it'll be marked out at the 26-yard uh, line. Hawkins has done a good job kicking the football. Yeah. Ball on their own. So the punt that Alcor takes over, first and 10 at the, I said 26, actually the 16. 16-yard 16 line 637 uh, to play, actually the ball is blown in, 648 to play in the third period, the clock rolling. Alcor with the football, first and 10 from the 16. Chase James now in at quarterback, along with Tyson and Jerron Tony. Toss sweep with the football is Tony. Tony, going to be back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about all for the sophomore. Tony, on the carry. Tackle made by Harrison. Austin Talon in one of the wideouts. Jalik Tony in at the other wideout, I believe. Brother Walker in the wideout. I need to find out sometime if he's got a sister. Daniel Robinson in at the slot. And is her name sister? That's what I want to know. Interesting. Uh, second back through, Tony bobbles the football and then falls down after a five-yard loss. I thought I saw a flag, but I guess I didn't. No, I didn't. So, so uh, Koa with a third and real long, like 14 or 15. Chase James gets the signal in. The interior line looks pretty much intact, John. Which would mean that Mr. James will have a little time to throw the ball if that's what they decide to run. They're pretty deep in their own territory. They may just uh, run it up the gut here and work on the kicking game. James gives to Tony. Tony will gain about two, and that's all. So Alcoa will come out and punt the ball for the first time tonight with the clock running at 442. Sam Thompson will put the foot into the ball. Brings up fourth down at 14. Tyler Campbell will go back to field the punt. He'll be standing in his own 45-yard line as the clock rolls with 425 to play in the third period. Sam Thompson on to punt it away from his own goal line. Good, Good snap. snap. End over ender is going to chase Campbell. He misfields it, and it'll be into Loudon territory and down at the uh, 41. Che, or excuse me, uh, Jalik Tony down there to touch Tony it up. And down. He risks his ball first and 10. And the clock rolls on. 41 yard line. 35 to nothing. Alcoa with 3.50 to go in the third quarter, and the clock running. Darwin Kerr in there at the defensive right end. King defensive Cannon. tackle, should I say. Ken Cannon in defensively. Dawson and Robinson. James and I think they're going to be working on getting a shutout here. Yeah, there goes the inside handoff, and it's going to get it's Tyler. Actually, it's Campbell with the football. He'll be to the 44. Pickup of about three. Campbell. And Robinson's got another stinger. Nathaniel Robinson. Yeah, he looks to be in a little bit of pain there. He'll amble off to the sideline. Tackle made by Bacchus. Brings up second down and seven. Bacchus. I thought we were out of Bacchus's. I, I, I wasn't sure either. <laughs> Must have has, has an old roster there or something. Second With the ball seven. to 44. 
It's another inside handoff shove in the middle, and it's going to get one or two. It's going to bring up a third and three. Loudon at this point in time deciding not to put the ball in the air. Back on my age, by Herbert, and Rowan. So they, they, they couldn't put the ball in the air, John, without doing themselves the damage of prolonging the game. Which, it, you know, in a game like this, that's something you don't want to do when you're on the wrong side of a 35 to nothing score. In what looks to be a passing formation here. And he drops back. Indeed, he's going to throw the ball. Oh, and it's going to be caught for a first down. James lost inside, excuse me, not James, but Jaleek Tony lost the inside position. They bumped him in there. Could have, could have been thrown for a little flag there, but since he caught it, it would have been better off if he throws for him for a flag. Would have been 10 yards instead of 25. So Loudon has a first and 10 on the Alcoa 26. 26 yard line. Time to stand him up here a little bit. 27 yards on the pitch and catch there. First and 10 for the Redskins. Give goes to Barr. Barr's got a little bit of running room, but he'll be stood up and driven back after he crosses the 25 Pick up down to the four. 23. Barr. So we'll have a second and, well, you didn't get as much as I thought. We'll have a second and second and eight, looks like. Now second and, second and seven. Brings up second down and seven. McNew, the quarterback, gives to Barr. Barr's got the edge. Well, he had it. Ooh. Closed on. Yep, and that's uh, Adrian Womack. Adrian Womack strung that play out and made the tackle on top of it. That's a really nice play by Adrian. That looked like it was going for more yards than that, didn't it? Yep. Speed team. Team speed. I know I can say that right if I practice it. 17, 16 seconds to go in this quarter. As the clock moves mercifully along. And Loudon's not going to run another play this quarter. So at the end of three, your score out with 35 and Loudon zero. One more quarter left in the regular season. That's it in the third quarter with the score. Your Reds can zero out 35. And we've had a pretty good run so far this year, Lane. Uh, our thanks, of course, go to. Uh, Tom Shamlin, Scott Porter, the faculty and staff of Alcoa City Schools. Uh, athletic Director Rob Dougherty. Head Coach Gary Rankin and his minions. Uh, and to all the parents that are so supportive of, uh, of what we do ball. and, and, and uh, come out and see the, the team every week. Uh, you know, I'd like to give my personal uh, thanks to the band parents for running that, that concession stand they run. Yes, sir. Before all the home games. Best hot dogs and hot and, and hamburgers anywhere for a high school game. You all need to come out there and just, I do it. I plan dinner there. Hey, yep. Get out there and have my hot dogs. This is weekly thing. They got it. Yeah. My weekly thing is going to Bread of Heaven. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lane, can't, Lane can't. goes to the Casa de Gymnasium. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, 12 more minutes left to go in the regular season before it's playoff time. And, uh. What a, what a pretty good year that, that we've had. You know, uh, it, it has been, John, and there's been, um, um, you know, good games to watch. And if you want to go back and catch any of them, um, you can give the Alcoa City School broadcast coordinator, Miss Debbie West, a call. You can call her at 984-7998 and uh, get any game this season and many from seasons past uh, in a DVD or cassette form. On third down and six, Loudon barking out some signals. Two tight ends set. The give goes to Campbell. Campbell's going to be stopped at the 20, and that's going to be about Campbell. three and a half Number yards three. short of the first down. It'll be, it'll be fourth and fourth and four. And uh, Alcoa looking to keep the shutout intact. Quickly to the line. They're, they're there. Same formation, a little wishbone. You're going to try to draw them off first is my guess. 
Nope, go with the quick snaps. Snap pitch to the outside, and he is going to get racked and hit. He's I'm short. He is short of the first down by at least a, a yard. A yard and a, another foot. So that'll do it for this drive as uh, Campbell is not able to turn the corner. And the official signals that the clock should keep running, and it's not. And there it goes. I'll call take over on downs on their own 16-yard line, 17-yard line. It keeps moving up the 18-yard line. This rate will score zero, zero play drive. If I can keep moving the ball up that way. <laughs> Troy Hodge out, Jaleek Tony in. Hughes in at a wide out. Looks like uh, Maurice Warren in. Is that him at the fullback spot, or is that number two? I can't see from here. That's two. The yeah. give to Tony. Tony pushed forward. He's still on his feet, and he's down at the 24. The pick, up, pick up of about Tony. five. There's Daryl, one of Maurice's much older. But, you know, that's the second week in a row I've done that. My apologies to Daryl. <laughs> and in this case, it wasn't even Maurice, him. Maurice could play some basketball now. Well, he sure could. Man. He was a good point guard. <laughs> The ball's out to the 24. Tony picks up six. It's uh, second down and four. James gives to Tony. Tony breaking tackles and he's gone. he's gone. Goodbye. See you later. <laughs> he will not catch him. Nice try. Appreciate the effort, but Tony breaks a 76. 76 yard touchdown run. They had a shot at him right around the line of scrimmage, and once he got past the linebackers, it was over, man. Well, they kept creeping up and yeah. kept creeping up and kept creeping up. All you had to do was break that first wave, and he was set sail in the open field. Yeah. So the clock uh, stops on the touchdown with 9.48 to play in the football game. Alcoa now up 41 to nothing, pending the point after a Brodus. Up and good. 42 to nothing, Alcoa. You know, you, you can't accuse them of anything, John. You got guys in there that they're working hard, looking for their touches, and just running a standard running play. Kid breaks off a 76-yarder. Of course, it's not the first time we've seen him do that this year, is it? No. Nope. But you notice on that play, I mean, both, uh, both outside linebackers were creeping up on the line of scrimmage when the ball was snapped. Wow. Yeah, all, he had to do, all he had to do was get into the secondary, and if he's even, he's leaving. That's right. Oh, my goodness. i got to come back with something to counter that. I don't know what it's going to be. <laughs> but if he's even, he's leaving. Come on. <laughs> well, kids only got two gears. That's go and gone. So, yeah. You know, the thing was, they were, <laughs> they were, they were jamming the line of scrimmage for the run. <laughs> And, and that's, they that's, right. part of, that's part of the, part of the thing. I mean, you know, you, you you play to stop the run, but if you get too far upfield, and then that's all you got to do is break that first you, wave. You overcommit, you over pursue against a team with speed like this is going to bite you. That's for sure. So brought us on to kick it away with 9:48 to play in this football game and a 42 to nothing lead. Well, second week in a row here, John, we played a team with one loss that uh, could have won the the, uh, <laughs> the region by beating us, and it's just been, uh, you know, an old-fashioned whipping. Alcoa, I'd say about, I think three weeks ago, looked like they weren't focused. Okay, but, man, ever since then, it's just been, yeah, it hasn't been a play. They haven't been 100% on, you know. Come down to two. Yep. With the football, Campbell. Limpy pretty noticeably carrying the football, and he and puts it on the, on the ground. ground. I think one of his teammates bailed him out. Yeah. Campbell. Well, I tell you what, you know, you got some other healthy bodies out there. You need to get keep Campbell healthy for the playoffs. Yeah, because let's, let's be serious here. You know, coming back in this one. Ball on the own, 25-yard line. Ball uh, placed down at the 26. It'll be first and 10 for Loudon. But, yeah, they, Loudon still has a lot to play for, and they better keep some people healthy. They can't get <laughs> Campbell too dinged up. As you see him walking out to the slot, he is favoring that left leg quite a bit. 
There goes the inside handoff, and the whoops, he's hit, and he did he's, wrap up. Down to the sideline goes Barr, and Daniel Klein's got the angle on him, and he'll yeah. knock him out of bounds. Daniel Klein with a really good pursuit there. Talking about that angle, you're right, John. That, that play was made by the angle. Uh, good pursuit, but that should have been a three-yard loss. Got to wrap him, can't just sling him around. All the way down to the Alcoa 35, it's first and 10. Pickman checks back in, along with Seth Coulter. To Aaron Tyson in the linebacker spot. Giving Troy Hodge a break. I don't think we'll see Troy again tonight. Snap, give goes to Barr again, and Barr's wrapped up and dropped Barr. down. Caught to Heisen on a blitz on that side, and then the play ran inside of him. That's why they were able to get, what, four yards out of it, five yep. yards out of it. Dossett on the stop. Seven fifty and running. And uh, Loudon, not quite their deepest penetration of the night, but pretty close to it. Last time they had the ball, they got down to the 16 and were stopped on downs. It's second down and six after the four-yard game by Barr. Little swing pass here and wrapped up and thrown. Well, he might get back to the line of scrimmage. Barely to the line of scrimmage. And nice play by Jalik Tony there. Had yep. that red all the way. And uh, made the stop. And I do believe it just about for a loss of a foot. So third and six. Third down and six. I call going for the pizza tonight, John. Going for the pizza. Yep. And this could possibly be their first shutout since week one in that abbreviated game at Spring Hill when a tsunami blew up. Oh, something else, wasn't it? Whew. And he's Play back to pass. looks to pass the ball away and it's well overthrown yeah. as it was intended for Campbell. Incomplete. He was bracketed there by uh, Tony and James. And that'll bring yeah. up fourth down. So just as quick as they get into Alcoa territory, they are starting to sputter. Campbell, Campbell gives uh, Tony a little bump there after the pass goes by. I'm not quite sure what he thought he was accomplishing with that. but Campbell coming out on fourth down. Yeah, he's gimping. Yeah, he's, he's sore. But he's a game kid. He's in there playing. I'll give him that. A fourth down and six with 6.06 to play. McNew looks to pass. Here comes a backside rush from Klein. Ball incomplete, knocked away by, oh, my goodness, what kind of call is that? I'm sorry, John. I know you don't like it when I second guess the officials. But no one touched him until he had dropped the ball. Okay, whatever. Pass interference against Alcoa. So it'll be a 15 yard step off and automatic first down. It'll be first and 10 from where? The, the 22? No, the 17. That's what I said. Yep. <laughs> I heard you. I heard you. 22 sounds a lot like 17 to me. Okay. It'll be first All right, so here we go. 541 and ticking. McNew fakes the bar. Now he'll keep, and he will get wrapped up and thrown down to the yeah. ground. He'll pick up about two or three on that play. He'll be inside the 15 McNew to the 14. So it'll be a gain of three. How cool is with the horses? And uh, basically, you know, I think the coach is saying, look, one, I want to shut out, and two, um, it's playoffs next week. Yeah, get used to playing some longer, longer period yeah, of time. You guys, you know, just exactly get used to playing the whole game. Back to new pass. looks to throw ball away, caught, breaking tackles, looking to get into the end zone and knock that bounds at the four, By which Thompson. is going to be enough for the first down. So it'll be first and goal, Loudon. 
Another missed tackle there, John. Yep. Yeah. Fortunately, uh, Sam it's a Thompson missed tackle there. that got this thing started on the 39-yard run yeah. by Barr. So it'll be first and goal. First and goal round with 4:33 and ticking. Look, look for some big hits here, John. I'm making a prediction. Inside handoff and boom, he's right down to the. Yeah. He's down to the one. If he was any closer, he'd be in. That's right. <laughs> He's right down on the one foot line. Yep. I, I personally think this is where running almost everything like they do from the gun like that hurts them because they they can lose something here. Oh, he's got yep. it. He's in. Touchdown down Loudon. Cannon goes off. Well, that'll bring it to 42 to six. A good extra point if they kick it. We'll bring it to 42 to seven, and they, they are going to kick for it. So our clock is safe for the moment. Did John, we eat more pizza up here tonight in the defense, you know. <laughs> And there goes penalty flags, and I don't know if Alcoa jumped or they were pulled. But there was certainly movement on the right side of the line over there. We're going to get told right now, and it was offsides Alcoa. Offsides against Alcoa. Right, they all move it halfway to the goal line and line up to kick it again. And, and this one's kick. hooked. And it is no good, so it will remain 42 to 6. No good. Making the sword, your red 6 6. I'll call 32. 344 to go in the game. Akko will take possession again after the Loudon kickoff. Once again, uh, Alcor will be hosting in the first round of the TWSAA playoffs against whom? We don't know yet. Uh, the brackets will be up tomorrow at noon on the TWSAA.org website. Uh, and I guess we can put it on the, the scroller sometime. We'll get it up there. Anyway, um, game time will be at 7 p.m. for the playoffs, and no passes are allowed. Game time, 7 o'clock. If it's 7.30, you show up, you're not going to have a seat. Probably not. So a call comes out to receive their second kickoff of the night. First one to start this half. This game gets more and more like last week's game. 42 to six. Well, if they kick it to Warren, I don't think Warren will fair catch it. It's gonna yes. come down to Klein. And Klein shivers, shakes, and he's across. To the 39 yard line. Or it'll be first to 10. As the cars are starting to file out onto Highway 11. Warren and Tyson in, along with Chase James in the backfield. Steve James, James, here comes the give, and that's Daryl Warren on the carry. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about all. Steven Eisenman in a wide out. Warren on the carry. 
Rex Myers and Marcel Watkins in on the offensive line, picking up some snaps along with uh, along with the type is too small. I can't read it. <laughs> Birchfield's in there. <laughs> 2.15 to go. Al Colo, Chase James under center. And he'll give uh, to Foster, Cameron Foster on the carry. He'll get out to the 43. And that'll bring up a third down and about uh, seven yards to go. Daniel Robinson, one of the wideouts. Robinson on the carry. Tyson and Warren check back in. Foster goes out. 144 and taking, John. What do we got? Two more plays, three? Got to get a first down here. Yeah, get this one in the books. Get a first down. We have a third and six. Third and third six. Third and six, yeah. yep. Uh, Chase James, uh, give goes to Warren. Warren is going to be wrapped up and dropped at the line of scrimmage for no gain. So that'll bring up a fourth and six with a one minute 16 to go on the clock ticking. And now uh, Cole might just run another play here and turn the ball over on downs. Coach trying to decide what to do. And he is going to I'd take a penalty and then punt. Take a penalty and punt is my guess too. <laughs> yep, that's what he'll be doing. So Alcoa takes the delay penalty. The clock stops with 39 seconds to go. And Sam Thompson will be on to kick it away. Thompson gets the punt away. It's a dry drive. spiral. It's going to be a tail dragger and go out of bounds at the 11. That's a good kick. Yep. Kicked it away from the receiver. And the clock continues to run. 24 seconds to go. At this rate, we may not yeah, get another play. That'll be it. Lyons not going to try to run a play, and that's going to be it for tonight. Alcoa faithful fans showed up in good numbers tonight. Alcoa taking immediate control of the game. Giving up one first down, and then holding after that and scoring the first five times, they you know, first four times they touch the ball, and the next time after that. So, Alcoa in pretty good form for the playoffs, John, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Uh, not much more to say about that other than a dominating performance, uh, second week in a row. And uh, we'll be playing somebody next week at 7 o'clock. Yep. And the, the defense is just working on shoring up some things. Uh, I tell you what, you know, going into the playoffs, the only thing that, that I am slightly concerned with in the first few rounds is uh, having to pay, face that CAK offense again. I mean, that they, they moved the ball on us. They got a little bit of confidence now. Well, and, we'll uh, see. I mean, the way that this this is a better team than played CAK earlier in the season. Agreed. Which, which is not to say the CAK hasn't improved too, but the improvement in this team to me, it's been a thing to watch. Yeah. It really has. And, and like I say, you know, it's more of a depth issue now when it when it gets into playoff time as well. You got so many people that Alcoa are running in and out, uh, and, and you knew that the freshman class was going to contribute early. You just didn't know how. Early. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, outstanding. And you know, if we bump up against CAK again. Uh, they'll be constantly reminded of what they what they gave up in the second half of that game. So they'll this this knowing this crew, they'll probably want to see that team again. Yeah, so. and uh, you know, and, and another thing, uh, defensively, Alcoa called the dogs off against CAK in the second half as yeah. well. And they they, they showed them a little off. flash. Uh, they showed them a little flash of, of what they could do with just a three man front getting after getting after Chris Case. Yeah, they'll uh, and, and, and they, they won't they do that in the playoffs. They'll they'll just they'll bear it down. I don't know what the uh, points for and points against is going to be through the playoffs, but it's going to be some big numbers and some small numbers, I'll tell you that. But um, 
Well, we've had a good time down here at Loudon. Uh, great place to come for an away game. Um, we'll find out in the playoffs just how good this team is. But, man, they're showing some. I'm, I'm not sure who's going to play ball with them. I just well, don't know. You know, uh, this was supposed to be the year to get them. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, you know, we're like five seniors starting. This is, uh, you got to be scary when you look at it from the other team's side. But um, we look forward to seeing everybody next week. And uh, and our thanks to, to the folks here at Loudon treating us like kings they did. That's right. Outstanding. Hey, and then we'll be back in even two though, years. Even though Lane's not much to look at, yeah, he's got the sure. perfect face for radio. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you. Look we'll forward see you to you guys. Thanks I hope again. so. Thanks, okay. guys. Appreciate it. And uh, for my partner, John Morgan, this is Lane Gearhart saying 